Right, year 12 mathematicians, we're going to brush up on our basic circle coordinate geometry skills today. So we're going to check that we could find the centre and radius for a circle when it's given to us uh, with our equation in expanded form. Okay, so we know we're going to take our x squared and minus 8x term, put those together and write it in completed square form. Okay, so we know we're going to put our x, half the minus 8, stick our squared on the bracket, and then we're going to get rid of this 4 squared outside, so minus our 4 squared. We're going to do the same thing with our y terms, y squared plus 4y, so y squared plus 4y gets us y plus, so we're halving this plus 4 here, so plus 2 squared, and again we're going to subtract our 2 squared for our normal completing the square method. Now we're going to write these two things together as part of our equation, so we've now got x minus 4 squared, I'll put my minus 16 now for my 4 squared here, plus y plus 2 squared, Put my minus 4 from there. And then I have to make sure I don't forget this minus 5, right? Easily done, busy completing the square. I need to make sure I have my minus 5 as well. It's now all equal to 0, as we had up here. And then we're going to do our normal form of gathering all these numbers together, sticking them on the other side. So x minus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals, so we've got 16, 4, and 5, all negative. So when we move them all to the other side, that'll be positive. So we get 25. That means now we can read off our centre and radius. So our centre coordinate is going to be the numbers inside these brackets with the signs reversed. So x is going to be 4, because it was minus 4. And then y is going to be minus 2. And then our radius, this number here is our radius squared. So our radius is just going to be the square root, of, in this case, of 25, which is just 5. There's our basic skill, so that we're then ready to tackle any parts that come after. Give us a follow for more content from us. Awesome job.